Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Diet Doctor on YouTube. Today, I want to talk about an article we posted on dietdoctor.com that was in response to a study looking at um, whether diabetes medications helped with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, also just known as fatty liver. Um, so people with diabetes who frequently also suffer from fatty liver or a higher propensity to have fatty liver. So they looked at 18 different trials that examined the use of diabetes medications and whether it impacted fatty liver. And what they found was kind of a mixed bag. Either there was no effect or some had a beneficial effect but also caused weight gain, which obviously is not something people want. There was one, the GLP-1 agonist or liraglutide that um, did show some benefit to fatty liver markers and helps with weight loss. But, you know, here again, <laughs> I, I, I get frustrated every time I read these studies because they're focusing on drugs, 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 prescriptions, prescriptions, and not looking at the bigger picture. Because what do we have that can help fatty liver, that can help with diabetes, with blood sugar and insulin levels, and can help with weight loss? Hmm, low-carb nutrition, and probably combining it with time-restricted eating and exercise. We don't quite have the data for that yet. But low-carb nutrition, absolutely. We have studies and we have data showing it helps with fatty liver. It helps with blood sugar. It helps with insulin. It helps with weight loss. Why do we need to go looking for drugs to try and, you know, fit the, what is it, the square peg into the round hole or something to, to find a drug that's not made for fatty liver that maybe has some benefit to fatty liver when we have this lifestyle that will, inter that will intervene in a safe way and treat fatty liver. So you can read more about, the, uh, about this on our post at dietdoctor.com. I'll save you my rant today. Actually, I won't. We really just need to focus more on lifestyle and less on the pharmaceuticals. And the, the problem is physicians say, well, people won't adhere to it. It's too difficult to do. Well, that all depends on what kind of structure you have in place to help people and how you sell it. I mean, if, you're, if you don't really believe in low carb, but you see a study that shows it helps fatty liver and you tell your patient, well, it's probably not going to help you very much. It's hard to do. It's restrictive. It's got other problems, but it might help your fatty liver. That's a terrible sales job, right? But you could say, look, here's a, a diet that people can adhere to and lots of people enjoy, maybe challenging for some, but it can help your blood sugar and help your insulin. It can help you lose weight and it can help your fatty liver. And here's a website you can go to that will walk you through how to do it. It's called dietdoctor.com. That's a whole nother story. That's where I want us to go. That's where a diet doctor, we want all physicians to be able to go. We're here to support them to make... Uh, low carb easy for your patients. And we have the data that it's, you know, I can't say it's better than the drugs because they didn't care, compare them head to head. But gosh, from my perspective, it sure looks like it with, you know, lower side effects, better overall benefits with broader benefits, and certainly cheaper and easier and more empowering for patients. So anyway, I didn't spare you my rants. I went on it a little bit. Focus on lifestyle. Forget about drugs in, st in settings like this. All right. Thanks a lot. Make sure you hit subscribe down below so you'll uh, be able to see all our updates and new posts and go to dietdoctor.com to read the full posts and see all the benefits you get by being a member of Diet Doctor and all the free stuff we have too. Have a great day. See you later.